From WBNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. Unlike last night, we have some quiet weather conditions in place across the Twin Tiers for tonight. Last night, we had that heavy rain come through, even some flash flood warnings to the east of Elmira. Tonight, again, clear to partly cloudy skies in place. Bigger weather issue, or I should say our biggest weather issue tonight, areas of fog that could form, and some of that could be locally dense early tomorrow morning. That's it. Uh, no rain expected, but that changes as we progress through the day tomorrow and especially head into tomorrow night. Now temperatures dropping out of the 60s and into the 50s down to 57 in Canastillo, also 57 in Ridgeberry, Appalachian sitting at 60 degrees right now and up towards Watkins Glen 62. Our next front of interest is coming through the eastern Great Lakes. It's slowly working its way eastbound and that's going to throw some more clouds our way and eventually some rain showers and you can see some moisture stretched all the way back down towards the St. Louis area. So we have to get through all that moisture tomorrow night. Most of the rain occurs uh, after dark tomorrow and most will come to an end by Wednesday morning. So again, I think most of tomorrow is dry and most of Wednesday will end up dry as well and sandwiched in between Tuesday night. We're looking at pretty good chance for showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. Clear to partly cloudy skies in place right now. Tomorrow after the fog burns off in the morning, a mixture of sun and clouds, although the clouds will tend to thicken up a little bit more by late afternoon. 79 hour 5 degree guarantee and we're tracking this frontal boundary. Uh, once this comes through though by early Wednesday, shifts the rain off towards the east and we get a push of cooler, drier air moving in from the west associated with high pressure. It'll be very fall like here for the end of the week. So timing out our rainfall here by 4 p.m. Tuesday. Rain kind of knocking on the doorstep here over western sections. Scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder here during the evening and then scattered showers likely through the overnight period may get a cluster of heavier showers coming through closer to daybreak. But again, by 9 a.m. Wednesday, most of the rain east of Elmira and we'll be looking at a clearing trend as we go into Wednesday afternoon as temperatures try and reach 70 degrees, probably not getting out of the 60s for highs Thursday and Friday. Now rainfall amounts with the front generally ranging between a quarter and a half an inch, but there could be some localized higher amounts. This model trying to point that out up towards Ithaca closer to an inch. And again, can't rule that out for a couple other spots across our region. But again, on average between a quarter and a half an inch. Latest on Lee as of 11 o'clock, still category three sustained winds of 115 miles an hour. And here's the long range forecast as we progress through the rest of the week expected to pass just to the west of Bermuda, likely to stay just off the coast, could click or excuse me, clip uh, eastern sections of New England, though, by Saturday. I have to keep a close eye on that, but a higher likelihood for it staying just off the coast, weakening as uh, we get closer to the weekend. For today, we forecast 75. We topped out at 74. 56 is where we're headed tonight with partly cloudy skies, increasing clouds tomorrow. Can't rule out a late day shower. Five degree guarantee 79. Showers linger into early Wednesday, but then mainly dry conditions will follow after that.